your dark clothes somewhere else, Brian. Red art, red art, red art. You look like your bed stinks. I would never ride nothing in the way. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. Judge a man by the length of his hair, the kind of music he listens to. Rock was never my bag. All right. Everything is now our hands dirty. on the internet. Yo. Yo, today's episode is brought to you by Zero Zero, uh, 818 North Spring Street, Los Angeles, California. Check out uh, this month's uh, check, check out this month's installation by uh, Taylor Taylor with Carpenter Carpenter as our homie uh, Monster Truck Church. Let's start this show. Hey, word. What's up, man? What, what is What's up, good? motherfuckers? We dropped the bag. We got Daniel back. Oh, <laughs> oh, with his with the fucking Nick Cannon turban probably, on. And shit. Probably dropped the bag. We got the <laughs> had to pay a lot for oh this. Uh, this is the ked force podcast down. most based podcast i am your host brian johnson i'm jamal abel harrison we got or okay is is, is Moss still doing your intros or, or are you doing it for yourself now we got daniel okay i guess Moss still doing your intros yeah, know. and then we, we got, got a special guest man say what's up to our 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 listeners hey what's up listeners my what's your Jer- name my name is jericho <laughs> no i know your name yeah. i kid I kid, I kid. Yeah, my name's Jericho. Nice Hello. to see you today, Jericho. Lover of humanity. Yeah. Um. How do you? Word. What'd you come to talk about today? Well, first of all, oh wait, is it still fuck your week or, or? Uh, I mean, we were gonna get to it, but oh, okay. I mean, it's. I just wanna focus <laughs> real quick. Just give Jericho this like two minutes. Oh, what's, what's up? up? Um, what's up, Jericho? Right. Tell the people. A little what I have yourself. to say in a nutshell. This. This week, I realized. Well, well, let's talk about you. Like, 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 what do you do? <laughs> yeah, like, what do you who are you? Bro, I was just My about dad. to drop a gym. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I swear okay, I was. Uh, do you really want to hear? Give us your gyms. Yeah. Are you give sure? You're weak and battered, or you're Yo, strong. All right. Yeah, we're here. Trust you're me, older. this is deep. This is deep. Well, well, well first, still, well, I thought we, I thought well, you know, he needs like your gym suit. All right, I, I'll give you an option. I'll give you a gym, or I'll give you a secret, which is kind of a gym too. So we have Wizard of the Day. <laughs> bro, I, pr- I promise, bro. This information is so fucking awesome. Oh, man. Uh, is, what do we want? I would rather have a secret. All right, all right. You'd rather have a secret? Got it. You ready? Okay, so here's a secret. Women know a secret that men don't know. That's the bull. secret is... No, <laughs> no goddamn secret. <laughs> right, What's the secret? The secret is they've discovered that emotion is just... As heavy weighted as intellect, it's the same. It's like it's completely different levels of being in existence. Like there's an IQ, but there's also an EQ. But men, we think that <laughs> IQ is higher than EQ. You know what I'm saying? We think we can outthink our emotions. You're general. Every man, no, every man, we think we can th- outthink our our emotions. I know I did until I realized. That women know that there's two. Does that make sense? That's the secret. If you can, if you can, you know why they call women's intuition intuition. Yeah, we're going three hours. Going today, off their, well, I'm just saying going they're going off their today, feelings, nigga, just bro. So you know. <laughs> they just know how to rely on that. Well, just well, our well. listeners know that that Jericho is a philosophizer. <laughs> Yeah, no, I would love you, Jericho. Yeah, that's, nah, a, that's, that's a nice nah, way like to put that. it. Nah, bro, but no, that's a, that's a good gem, it. though. I want to say it's bullshit, but I mean, you know, it, 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 you know it's, it, it, it's a good gem. Sense. It makes sense. You know, yeah, it makes sense. Like, yeah, my nigga. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, cool breeze. All right. <laughs> nah, you know. Jericho, like, tell people about yourself. Like, you know, what are you? What do you do? Who you are? What do you like to do? Well, I'm from Chicago, Southside. Oh, Southside, Inglewood. No, no, no. Oh, are you from the hood? The Hunnets. Oh, oh the hunnets, shit. The Hunnets. <laughs> Shout out to the Hunnets. It ain't our Hunnets, though. It ain't our Hunnets. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. 105th, 105. I mean, that's cool. I'm not down with the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, um, yeah. Yeah, so as I proceed, um, I was born in Chicago. Okay. Raised like Phoenix, back and forth between Phoenix and then um, the suburbs of Chicago where my dad lives. He lives in. Um, Round Lake, okay. Illinois. It's like right by Six Flags. Oh, is it like right by like that big ass mall? 
Yeah, Gurney yeah. Mills. Gurney yeah, Mills. That's there. the name of the mall. It's a pretty cool, yeah. cool place. Uh, yeah, like I haven't been back to Chicago, like the city, since I was a child. Like I didn't, I wasn't living there since I was a child. Where you been living? Then I lived in Phoenix, and then I lived in Round Lake, and then I became homeless in Phoenix in high school. Graduated high school homeless. Went to college in Tucson. And then got a job opportunity to come to California, Rancho Cucamonga, as a talent scout. And then once I found out how shady talent scouting was, I gave that up. And then um, my neighbor, his uncle was LAPD. And he heard me sing one day. And he was like, bro, you're talented. You should come live with me. And I'll put, I'll, I'll put you up until you get on your feet. Because I think there's some opportunities for you in LA. You're missing out on it. And I was like, bro, that was like. That was just so much love, like, just out of nowhere, you know? Who would have thought, you know? Right there, that was blessing, you know? That was a huge blessing, and I did. I took him up on that, and, you know, like, a month in, I met this girl. Her name is Trish. And, you know, yada, yada, yada. Girl girl one, homeless. So what's up, Girl man? two, now I'm here, and now I'm engaged. Oh, shit. I'm That's engaged. Great. I live in Sherman Congrats. Oaks, bro. And I'm from the south side of Chicago. Yeah. And and what I do is I'm a I'm a lover of people. So I use that to fuel my art. I don't like music. I mean I mean I like music. I don't love music. I'm not in love with music. I like art, but I'm not in love with art. I'm in love with people. You know, I love the concept of getting to know people. I've just I've got a childlike curiosity about the people around me. And I love focusing on our oneness. How similar we are. You smoke a lot of weed, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm very, fr- I'm fried. I am. I am. Nah, yeah, I'm just nah. kicking it. I'm just. But yo, uh, let's, let's. All right. The, we're gonna what get, do you like we're to gonna do, my nigga? This. Do you watch Saturday Night Live? Do you watch TV? No, I don't watch a lot of TV. I draw. You should watch Saturday Night Live, man. Nah, yeah. Michael Che be... writes it. He's a. He's good at it. Not when Amy Schumer's on. That was last week, bro. What are you talking about? It's like, <coughs> you know, that's like. Well, that's uh, recent episode of Saturday Night Live, isn't it? No. Uh, La- this hey, week, Cavs won last this night. This week was Nicki Minaj and fucking Tina Fey, and they killed it. Oh, that's They like, did a, a bunch of cool shit. Uh, but I didn't watch whatever, guys. But I did, okay. see, I did see the fucking song that. Um, that play what Cardi is on with um, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah. I, I seen that performance. There was two performances. Yeah, and they've yeah. killed them both, kind of, yeah. kind of, upper killed, sure not like last. super killed. You know what I'm saying? Like Wait, upper mid level like killed. The first time like I seen Playboy Cardi on like national TV. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he looked uh, pretty good. He was, yeah. I mean, no Pomo. He was doing his thing. So that's what I'm saying. Do you ever like anything? Do you? Ever, what are you interested in? Do you ever like? Uh, you pay attention to anything or just uh, like to I'm talking to Jericho right now or just like to think in your own zone you know like you know I mean a little bit of both but most most of the time I'm in my own zone because I unplug a lot like I my phone has never been lit like I'm not, I keep my phone dry super dry <laughs> like I might get five texts a day and I don't respond to them until I see them later <laughs> you know mm-hmm and I, I like that because most people, when they interact with me, it's conversation. Well, and I yeah, that, I only right. fuck with people I can actually grow with. Absolutely. You know, I don't really, I don't, I don't do a lot of bullshit. You know, that's it. Well, guess what? Sorry to break it to you. You just entered the realm of bullshit. We do talk a lot of bullshit. Welcome to the Ken Force podcast, uh, Motherface podcast. But what I mean by that is just like, I'm out. Uh, you might, exactly. You might just want to chill. I mean, chill. You know what I'm saying? Take the ride, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can get I'll involved just, if you want to that. a little bit, or you can fall back if you're like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's what Daniel does, seventy eight percent of the time. So <laughs> you know, whatever you want to do. Daniel's um, a cool ass thing. Uh, I agree, man. The fans were asking about you. In I've, fact, we got some fucking messages. We got fucking people in the in it for the fucking uh, in it for that giveaway. Yeah. I think Ben Grimm's still gonna give away the uh, movie pass. I'm gonna let him give my movie pass because I don't really want that shit too. So we'll have two, yeah. and then fucking all that shit. Yeah, comment on. Can I enter? <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is comment and fucking um, comment on our YouTube that's a fucking page, great ass prize. on our SoundCloud. Page you can't your, comment on iTunes, yeah, but you can comment on the YouTube or the SoundCloud. Yes. 
and slide in some DMs. You exactly, know? and then we'll if you comment, we'll just put you in a pool. If you follow, like subscribe yeah. and comment, and so then, then we'll just be fine. And then you get a month free moon pass. Yep. Hey. Boom shakalaka. So, boom shakalaka laka laka. Uh, oh fucking boy. <laughs> Did you ever listen to Platinum Flame? I heard uh fucking Jericho was hating on Platinum Flame yeah, when we were okay. uh so, re- when we were in the so pre-production. Oh, 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 whoa. When we when we were listening to Little B. Said bitch ass nigga, you a N word. <laughs> yeah. That was a good line cuz yeah, I was being a, a bitch ass nigga in that moment. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Of course him, funny, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. called me out on that shit. Like Maybe. I was like, "Fuck, I don't like your shit." And he's just like Right when I thought that, he called me a bitch. <laughs> 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 I was like, I was like, now nah, I gotta yeah, respect yeah. it. Like, now nah, I have exactly. to. Now, you gotta respect now I have to respect it. All right, yeah, let me be more open minded. That's the part. Let me not be a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Just to prove him wrong. Like, you know, all right, fuck shit. it. I'll give um, you a chance. Like, a that's chance. and that's what I was kind. Of, that's funny you said that because that's kind of how I was feeling about like little B in general. Like, right when I was gonna be like. I mean, what is he going to do? Is he going to just fall into his own lane and do his own weird, sh- like, shit and just, like, kind of, like, but it be repeated and dated, you know? No. He does more weirder shit now than ever, and everybody's going to do it in two years. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, exactly. and, yeah, like, that's the truth to it. Like, as soon as I was like, damn, it's a little beat, and he's like, bitch ass, nigga, you an n word. I was like, yes, he's still bass. Like, he still gets it. Like, he's still... He really still gets like new salute to the base guy. Like, just ways to do it. He's just always thinking of like just new weird ways to do it. If you guys don't know, which I'm surprised you guys are haven't heard, but a little beat put out Platinum Flame, another base god slapper mixtapes of the Flame series of the Color Flame series. The Platinum Flame, and he said it was gonna come out like. Damn near seven years ago or some weird some, like, shit. Pokemon cartridges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> we check, we check his track record. Jack. Check his track record. <laughs> Jack. Yeah. Basically, I do what the fuck he want to do. Red, blue, That's pink, the, yellow. Yeah, exactly. He That's has the Pokemon cartridge colors. Mm-hmm. Bro, yeah. what if he planned it like that? That'd be lit. So wait a minute. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting these. T- Never mind. Um. <laughs> What's your favorite track on, on the on the mixtape? Uh, the one where he says "bitch ass nigga, you an N word." I forget which one. It was uh, what was it? What was it called? What was it called? What was it called? Still going, still going. So That's my, my favorite is "Swag Times Four and and "Bitch Mob Vet" because you know part of the task force, so you know we're vets in that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, so protect little B at all costs. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> damn. Did you guys ever watch the BBMAs? Oh, or the, what? No. Oh, the Billboard Music Awards? Yeah. No. I, mean, <clears throat> I really don't care about award shows anymore, bro. You know what? I feel <laughs> old because I keep watching award shows to see what people are wearing. I mean, that's what. I get that. Okay. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. I don't that's watch the awards. I'm like, for. oh shit, look at that shit. Oh. <laughs> Damn, what kind of shoes are those? <laughs> yeah, but then also, because like, you're into fashion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I guess. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, it's, so like, that makes sense. But like overall, like watching like award shows. Jump on like IG, that, like, motherfucker. Nah. Yeah, that's real. Like, I used to get IG. excited like, like when I was a kid. Cause, like, oh my God, that's like insane. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, like, I don't care to see them. I could just follow them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah I don't <laughs> care to see them. And I could see them like putting the makeup on or some shit, some weird ass shit. Was it um? Wasn't fucking Bahad Bahadi nominated for like best in female artist? I don't know. Did she win any? Probably not. I think we were hurt. Probably not ass nigga. You sound like a probably not hating ass boy. She (laughs) (laughs) won. No, you're right. Uh, Let's see. No, I don't see her now. I see some Ed Sheeran, some Post Malone won the best rap rock song. (laughs) I mean rap (laughs) song. Definitely Billboard. Uh, But yeah, that he got the most racks. You know what I'm saying? Like, racked up the most. Uh, Cardi B obviously won some shit. Okay. I think whatever Cardi was nominated in, not the same. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't no Bahad Bahavi. Didn't win. Yeah, Migo didn't win then. Oh, I'm surprised. What, yeah. Drake? Yeah, Drake won. Okay. Drake won a couple. I can't see where it was. I saw it earlier, though. What about Little Pump? I think Lil Pump did win some. No, no, I don't want to just throw Little shit out there. Let me look for it. I can keep looking. No, Jack Cole. 
We got damn best rap album. Um, Dom, Drake, <laughs> Billboard 200 <laughs> artists. Yeah, but you can't do it. It just huh. says Drake, Billboard 200 artists. Like Big he's a winner. Bills. So Big I guess. Um, I'm love with cheap thrills. Well, what about the who, what about the guy who's like five for five? Give a fuck on, if it cares. Five from it behind. No, I said I said what about the guy who's five for five on the what was that other fucking on the charts? So he didn't win anything. Oh chart. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. The hook is just so sixty nine. Something's got no, a got no six, hold nine, on man. me, and I can't let bro. go. You that's know? amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you know you. what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Our no, listeners are like, probably like, so confused right now because there's like yeah. two conversations going on. Hey, man, chill so out. Like, what, the <laughs> like, right, what the fuck? This guy's like, what the fuck? I'm going to chill out. <laughs> this nigga just broke out the song. <laughs> <laughs> right? This is the most bass podcast I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is probably our most cool, bass though. episode. I'm sorry. Do you have ADHD? <laughs> No, like him, him, and him and Daniel were having. No, I'm saying like, do our viewers have ADHD? Mm-hmm. If so, then you could probably continue with us. But if not, I'm sorry, you might want to yeah, just click right do. now. Yeah. I think like 80 percent of America has ADHD. So. so. I mean, now with the introduction introduction of cell phones and everything yeah. is so readily available. It's just the ability to multitask in your brain. Multitasking is impossible, apparently. That's what I heard. Hmm. Well, that nigga lied. <laughs> no, no, it still doesn't make sense now. No. Um, so what's up, man? What's, what's going on, bro? I'm um, thinking. Thinking? Thinking about what? I'm thinking about exactly where I want to take this. Because right. I'm thinking about where this could possibly go. <laughs> this can go a lot of ways. You know? I got about 20 topics written on a goddamn sheet. So I'm thinking, like, should I read the topics, or should we just talk about weird shit? Okay, well, I don't know, but that's... I mean, Lil Pump and J. Cole, are they beefing? No, I think... Nah, what do you they, think they talked you know about that, when they talked? You, you think know, you think J. Cole was like, hey, man, you need to you only, you only need to wear more more humble clothing. Go get you some sweat clothes. Them niggas don't want to hit it now. You from, kicking from the beef. champs. <laughs> hey, ride with me to the and champs sometime. Him. I'll get you some sweatpants. <laughs> hey, man, be humble. Let's try to pop oh, pills and have fun. What? Like, you immediately think fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm terrible. Do they? Do they have a, like a conversation, or is it like still like the like like both like both like fans? I think it's just a vibe. And, um, Perpetuating shit like no, like uh, in that. Shit. You know what I did okay. recently, which is weird, but you know I knew I was gonna do it. I watched that whole J Cole interview. I watched it all. Right. The only reason I watched the whole interview is because he's going on tour with Young Thug. That's and I was like, why the fuck is he bringing Young Thug on tour? Oh so God. I just I just clicked it. I was just like, as soon as I saw like that little three minute excerpt, I was like, oh fuck, I'm just gonna go watch that shit. This nigga talking about young. What are you gonna say about my boy? So they got they clickbaited me, but I wasn't gonna get like clickbaited out of context. You know what I'm saying? So I hate like watching a clip of a fucking interview I haven't right. seen because then they'll be like mislead the fuck out of you. Right. So I'm like, um, Lil Pump. What does he say? Fucking he says a bunch it's of weird good shit. good for Lil Pump though. Yeah, he yeah. says a bunch of little weird shit. But he's know, like, I'm gonna talk to him tonight, man. He's like, I'm gonna talk to him tonight. He's like, I invited him to my show. I'm going to talk to him Getting tonight. Clicks. And that's why Lil Pump was obviously on the side of the stage. You know what I'm saying? When he was dancing. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to I mean. Good I don't good good know good if... Uh, so I guess they're... It's probably just some weird shit. You know, like... He's probably just like, hey man, can you stop telling them to chant that? What? Fuck J. Cole? Yeah. Fuck J. Cole. Oh. <laughs> like, J. Cole's probably just like, hey, man, them little kids is, you know, chanting well, like, that. I don't like, tell people to do that. Just, like, even when they were, like, saying, like, fuck J. Cole, like, I knew it was, like, a joke. But then, like, all these, like, internet kids, like, take that to heart. Like, oh, like, like one person we know. A lot of people, I think, like, takes that shit to fucking heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny as hell. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but. 
Oh. And man, the biggest thing that ever happened is Meek Mill's back. But we never talk about it. Meek, what up? Like, does Meek Mill we need Drake? Does to me, would Meek Mill do a Drake feature? Like, that's what everybody keeps talking about. Like, does Meek Mill need a Drake feature? No, no, I don't think it will. Meek Mill didn't need a. Drake I think he what, does well, actually. Why the Meek hell he need a Drake, Drake feature before? I think he always needs a Drake feature. No, a while, just a while. the fact that he's back for the like, Drake not audience. Yeah, fucks. <clears throat> the fucks. Biggest audience. I, I mean, think. it's like the, you know, it's, you know, it's like, it's Dude, like the villain. You don't want to go to that stadium. You just, you know, I'm staying in clubs like I used to. Don't go chase waterfalls. <laughs> Stick no, into like, the why clubs. Does, in the... Why do you think Meek needs a need, need Drake feature? He doesn't want to be sticking to the clubs and little spots like he's okay, used what to. Gonna I mean, like, about? What he's going to do be? big shit, but he's going to do bigger okay, shit with the Drake um, feature every me, time. Let me just ask you this. Foresee, what would the song be about? You know it. Damn. Well, everybody's... Everybody, everybody. Who's everybody? The in, Actually, everybody. Yeah, the internet. The internet's speculating that um, Drake is on a remix, like a... a What's Beef, you know what I'm saying, by Biggie. Meek Mill d- put out a snippet of it, right, where he's like, when I'm a ride, I'm a f- go fuck with, or he's like, what's beef? I might go ride with Drizzy or some shit, you know, on the long those lines. And then he's like, yeah, and then the people keep just, uh, like, dissecting it, like, is that a Drake? Yeah. You know, so they don't know if that's why that I'm saying. Does he need a Drake feature? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think he needs a Drake feature. I, I don't think he needs a Drake feature, but... If he does a Drake feature or has a feature from Drake, it doesn't. I don't think it fucking matters anyway. It just doesn't matter if the number one artist does a feature with you. Why would that not matter? Huh? Why? You know, the number one artist, man. Yeah, but I mean, like you're making it sound that like Meek needs, like, like he yeah. needs a. I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, like that's like, like how you're saying it. Like that's how I'm taking. Like, like Meek needs a, a Drake feature. Like, to, to, like, like you can't survive without yeah, it. Like that's how you're making it. You're making it sound. Like, I mean, you don't need no motherfucking handouts. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <Fuck> <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah, so. uh, you can survive without it, but I guess uh, I'm just being a contrarian. Like, hey, guess what? Something I care about is. What? Fucking everyday struggle is back. Uh. And it's it's really bad. Who won it? Just academics and fucking some other nigga. Some nigga who like is just like clearly a Jay Z stan, like guy who worked I I can tell he probably like worked for Jay Z or something. The Wayno guy, I don't know, he's just a guy from the internet. But I don't know, man. He just said every said every uh, argument just gets back to Jay Z and shit. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yo, Jim Jones with yo, Jim Jones never really ran New York. You know, it was Jay Z. <laughs> just like, this is not content. We do not care you know, what you two guys uh, think about Snoop Dogg in the West. Well, when Jay Z came out to the West, well, Jay Z, he was doing moves <laughs> with the Jay Z. Oh, those guys. He goes, he the king of New York, but when he went west, he's still the king of New York, but he's in the West Coast. Like, face on God. palm. <laughs> Jay-Z's, man. I mean, I love Jay Z, but not like the fucking complex news. Not like Jay-Z. him, obviously. <laughs> yeah, uh, complex that news. That nigga trying to Jay Z. They'd be like, "What artists are safe to talk about today?" Academics. They'd be like, "Here's the list." It's gonna be like Jay Z, uh, not Takashi. <laughs> nobody. It's like Takashi X'd out. Fucking X the tentacles X'd out. R. Kelly X out <laughs> all those t- <laughs> and what's up with Spotify? <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen to Spotify, man? Because that can't not lead to something. The whole thing they're doing with the playlist. Have you seen this? Yeah, Spotify is gonna be fine. No, they can't. They, I mean, what? No. It's shit can't last forever. They can't just be like, all right, these two, these are the only two people. Okay, and then they just stop, and then it never. It's gonna like spread, and then something weird's gonna gotta happen. I mean, once. Fucking SJWs are gonna stand outside of the fucking somewhere until it happens. They're just gonna be like, "Yo, we're gonna stand here until you take off, everybody." You bitch. I think I, I read somewhere that like uh, X Extension and his fucking like streams went down from not being in the playlist, but his music is still on Spotify. So same thing with the Pipe Piper R and B, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Now's a great time oh, to sing. Man. That shit is very relevant. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you for that. That was a great. T- that was a great time to fucking say. That was a good one. Man. You know, that one made sense. <laughs> I'll take it. You know, we're just trying to create that's a story here. Man. We're trying to make a vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, man, so they're still fucking with them? Bro, I mean, Come on. I don't know what that's the... That's a good question. Bro, I don't know what the, uh, what the common sense of him is right now. I don't know... His current shit. Has he ever? Has he done something recently? Like I don't know. Uh, he just, he just, a girl just came out that she gave that he gave her herpes and like. Uh, when? When she was fifteen. Recently? Like, no, nah, nah, she ago? just came out like two but days ago, and then two days ago, they have a recorded damn, phone crazy. call, or not two days ago, like yeah, a week I, ago. I, I guarantee there's a few people. In it. Yeah, they, they got, got a phone. Just don't fuck with him anymore. But there, are, there that's a few because damn, this nigga really from the shop, right? Step. No, Chicago loves to step. It's a dance. Like, it's generational. If you don't know how to step, you're not from Chicago, for, for real. Like, they won't claim you. <laughs> for real. And R. Kelly, his music is the perfect stepping music. Mm. It's the perfect stepping Trying music. To. Damn. That, he always be like <laughs> a god uh, in Chicago. Uh, 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 and that's what R. Kelly, a, a recent recording came out of R. Kelly saying just that shit. The nigga was like, really? nigga was like, the music is Im- implemented in the people. It is. You know, he was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Some shit. It was like a recording. Yeah, that's so <laughs> true. Bro, no, we're, we're the shit. collab with Aaliyah, Man, bro. That'll go down shit. in history. Wow. Well, <laughs> Come on. Bro. Wow. We're not going to go to the. To that, oh, Damn, bro, you're really from Chicago. Like, you're the last living R. Kelly, like, you know, holder outer. Everybody else sold all their stocks. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what> I'm, <laughs> saying. Saying. I'm not like, the last, trust me. It's like, I, I feel I you. No, you're not the last, actually. No, yeah, definitely not the last. But like, you might I be a, a majority lot. shareholder. Like, I've, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, I, I've heard I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be a partner. Goddamn, <laughs> he's a partner. Oh he's getting out. busted for a sex <laughs> ring, oh man. God, man. For a sex cult, <laughs> man. He got that. He called him a shot. He ain't picking the best. He could always be a legend in Chicago. That's fire, fam. Anybody from Chicago knows that that's a fact. That's fire, fam. No, that's uh, but what was crazy is like man. I know. I that's know, the hottest takes, man. We're getting the hot ones. I know a lady who fucking. Said, even though R. Kelly did what he did, I'm still a fan. Yeah, what? God damn. Of his music. God damn. Don't be a fan of the person. Right. I feel you though. Right. I feel you though. Hey man. Man, cause it's a lot of bitch ass niggas that rap. So what's For the difference? For real, a lot. What's the difference? If you knew him personally, almost every. If you knew him personally, you probably wouldn't like their music. I'm just saying. True. Also, when when the um, initial remix come on. Oh man, <laughs> you already know. Yeah. Oh shit. Already yeah, know. <laughs> so it's just Kells forever for you. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
<laughs> this is the real A verb versus murder moot. Oh shit. This is the A- hey, this is A verb versus murder moot, man. What's up? Y'all gonna battle? Yo, real shit. Has there been like an R and B like battle like that? Like, uh, Eric what? Bellinger Ryan and Tory Lanez are battling on stage, or battling each know. other. That's no. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There has, bro. There's been sing offs, bro. Yeah, that was big in 2000, like early uh, 2000, like 2002. Who done I it? I am unaware. Bow Wow and Lil Romeo did. Bow Wow and Lil Romeo. Bow Wow don't even sing. What are you saying? Them niggas don't even sing. Remember, there was a summer episode. I remember, like it was yesterday. So them niggas just started hitting high notes, fam. Yeah, bro. Against what? Lil Bow Wow. They had the audience. Vote on which one. Man, you two got the hell. Like, one goes, one goes. You two got the hell. The pussy. One goes, look, look. I mean, I ain't Uh, even uh, seen uh, her. uh, uh, So you mean to tell me Little Bow Wow was hitting them high notes. He was going. He was shy. That's funny as hell. Because no, I don't know really doesn't hit high notes. No, Lil Bow Wow I follow sing, niggas' bro. career. I'm a nerd about no, it. What do you mean? Lil Bow Wow can sing, bro. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Bro, He's never he sang. Sing. Show me him singing. Watch. There's Google Watch. here. He's a really good singer. There's, what's up? What do you say? Watch. Watch. Yeah, like, is shit going to come out? <laughs> I gotta see this. Are these niggas singing? Hey, I'm about to look stupid Watch. as hell. I'm about to look dumb as hell. <laughs> I remember, bro. Here we go. Let's see. I think that's the one. No, bro. He starts yeah. rapping and then he goes into singing. The, uh-oh. Here we I go. We get some, we get some variation in the story, though. Watch. There is variation, but... You're funny. I fuck with you. I'll just right. give you a I wish we had that cue, though. But uh, like I do, you couldn't find it. What's up? No, I mean like, it wasn't real. No, the, no was it real? It was, it was an interview of like. I mean, hey, but, what's up? but I'm like, saying I've been watching the little Bow Wow's career. Come on, I'm going on record to say that I've been watching this shit. I care about little Bow Wow. Like, cause like I do remember, you know, I do remember like that beef of like. Like like who would you pick like Little Romeo or like Little like like which side were you on? Bro, that was for the yeah, ladies. Yeah. I oh think no, that was no, for it was. The no, 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 it was definitely no, no, it was definitely for the ladies. Yeah. Definitely for the ladies. But like I remember that beef though. I mean, hey, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tell you what gender it was for. Oh, it could have been for who the fuck ever it wanted to be for. So, so. B2K and Usher. If you wanted to do that, I just meant. No, it was like B2K like in, in like another group, wasn't no, it? No, Mario, Mario, Mario versus B2K. Mario versus B2K. You should be loved. Baby, turn around and let me see that sexy body. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> 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 that was a slapper, though. That was a slapper. You it was, bro. It was a slapper. It is what I want to see with his nasal ass. Fuck it. No, shout out to Omar. I don't care if he's nasal. He's a genius, bro. That shit was funny as fuck. Oh, my God. He's a genius, bro. I respect it. Oh my I met him before. He's cool as fuck. Lil Durk and A Boogie are about to collab and be singing. Wait, weren't you guys talking? Were, were you guys gonna talk about the battle rap between? No, I was just gonna oh. say that's fucking. They just did it right there. That's the oh. that's the shit. No, what's up? What who you got? Uh, a verb or Murder Mook? That's like a big one because Murder Mook hasn't rapped in about ten years. Murder Mook. He yeah. only raps for like a hundred thousand dollars or some shit. Nobody can afford it. A verb, a murder move. God damn it. Speaking of back in the day, I remember the fucking murder move in Sirius Jones battles. What are they rapping? That wasn't, I think. Hmm? Where are they rapping? Yeah. That's a good question. They are rapping on um, (laughs) RBE, actually. I think. I'm 95% sure it's RBE. And, um, where he at? He in, um, that's, that's still New York. I'm pretty sure they're in New York. Yeah. No question. No. Man, I think. Oh, uh, dad, you really thinking about this? I think oh. I gotta go with Mook, man. <laughs> he said Mook. I, I knew you were gonna pick. You fuck about the, rap, you know, going on. That's the Patriots pick. Uh, it's <laughs> obviously. That's the Patriots pick. Yeah, that, it's obviously the LeBron be, pick man. right there. Yeah, it's gonna um, be the fucking other guy. It, I kind of, I kind of think you're right. I, I mean, know, it, just, it just felt convincing. You know, I fuck. I mean, I fuck with Aver. You know what I mean? You, but speaking to Mike, please. I fuck with Aver. 
But I don't know if he's capable of um what it riding up and um <laughs> <laughs> assassinating um murder mook. You know, funny as fuck. Um Mook keep that toolie. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know, ready man. for beef. Mook's last look, Mook's last battle was just gimmicks about his last battle from ten years ago. So <laughs> that's pretty I don't know how many times you can pull that. You get what I'm saying? Those are just like throwback gimmicks to his old gimmicks. You know how he like pulled out the do rag and shit and he was like, The do rag mook with the do I was like, Oh it's like Come on, fam. Come on, fam. You can't do that every time. You know, like everybody's like You got a do rag on again. His bars are better. You know, come on. People are like getting more and more skeptical. Um, less and less people care about battle rap. More and more people have already turned off the podcast because we started talking <laughs> about it. So it's like it's it's that. It's like that. So I mean, it's like I'm pretty sure A Verb's gonna win because he's got just a lot more performance and like newness about him and just like vigor in his style. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what? Just because you said that, I disagree because <laughs> I think he gonna try to go. Too hard and gonna fuck up. That is a possibility. If he starts with those, if he starts rapping like the Migos, <laughs> then yeah, it's Man. not gonna be good. Cause you know he be going on slumps. Like when um, yeah, when when he took that little style daylight head and yep. that was his next three or four battles. <laughs> like oh man, that shit was horrible. But yeah, yeah Aver be like the type of rapper that's like looking for a hit. <laughs> you know, like, a hit to like perform for a couple. Yeah, years. I give him like um. I say like two, two one, two one. one. <laughs> they said two one. Everybody yeah. says two one. I, ain't gonna, I mean, it ain't gonna be three zero. Though, Nobody you know says I mean? three zero. Um, yeah, it's gonna be obviously, but it will be a three zero because when you're old, you're old. You know what I'm saying? You lose that step. It's kind of like we're talking about like boxing or some shit. You know, you lose that little step, you might, you might as well. You're gonna take a few L's. You know, and and a verb is just always in the gym. You know. Shoot me when you're in the gym. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was our battle rap section. Battle there you go. Corner. Hey, tell your uh, girlfriend she can now moisten back up. <laughs> <laughs> tell a friend. Tell a friend. Uh, oh, man. So we could talk about something that will surely keep her entertained. Entertained. The Lils. You want to talk about the Lils? The Littles? The Lils. The Lils. The Lils. The Lils. You know. Uh, I don't know. I'll be talking to this girl, and she always says that about like every rapper. <laughs> She's just like, I don't know if I'm into the Lils, and I'm like, okay, what the, fuck is the Lils. The Lils, but she just means like every Lil rapper, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, every nigga from SoundCloud. She's just like, I hate everybody. Huh. But I mean, that's what like, I know she'll get more pussy if you if you uh, promote like Kendrick Lamar. You know, like if you're like, I have nappy hair, and you know, I like Kendrick Lamar. They'll just be like. Oh damn it! This is like fucking Tumblr. Oh. Let me get that. You know, I'm like, yeah. So. <laughs> you stupid as fuck. Fuck. I mean, the bees like that. Uh, <laughs> but the point is, uh, the Lils. Like, is Trippy Red gonna kill Six Nine? He said they keep saying. Now they're saying fuck each other's families and shit. Yeah, they're just, like they're, just, they're like, talking like baby like, mamas out here. Fam, now like, they're just like fuck your family, fuck <laughs> your fucking baby, <laughs> fuck that little ugly baby. Bitch, <laughs> like I think I got I said that shit. I guess yeah, that shit like, real, um, like social. Gangsters. They both sound like that for that's real. Yeah. As fuck, yeah, it totally it's is, really good, bro. Cause like now it's like it's like overshadowing their music. No, you know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna start to overshadow their music. It's gonna be like, oh, yeah. are they gonna fight? Are they not gonna fight? Like, oh, he said fuck his dead homie. He said fuck his mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, gonna lie. Takashi just went seven for seven when he dropped that fucking six nine song. I mean, when he dropped that fucking trippy red uh, song, like Takashi did a song in the uh, in his car where he like put on a beat and he was like, "I'm about to sound like trippy red," you know. And then he's like, "Yeah, yeah." And he just starts yelling. Like, this is another hit. You just you just dropped for the streets. You son of a bitch. So he went seven for seven on the. Yeah, board. yeah, he just went seven for seven because that one's a hit, bro. Like, so he dropped it. <laughs> but yeah, like you said, very know, very destructive. Man. Either either shut up and make music or fight, get it over, and then go back to making music. Honestly, yeah, that's all they want to do. They just want to fight, but they just want to like 
keep circling each other around the USA. <laughs> like, yo, you gonna be in New York? I'm gonna be in New York. I was, gonna in, be... I was just in New York last week. I was, I'm in Connecticut, no. bitch. Come to Connecticut, oh. you fucking bitch. Oh, I oh, we're sh- gonna fuck you. I was show Connecticut in like oh, two, months. Just the Maybe two months. Maybe two Small day like, was talking about. You know, it's retarded. <laughs> Uh, and then like and then like they can't link up at, at a music festival because no one wants to book. Watch you guys Gosh, call you, it. So yeah. Watch you guys call it. What? I bet you it's gonna play out like that. Oh, that's how it's oh, already no, no, playing, it's out. playing out. Right yeah. now. They're running around yeah, the yeah, USA yeah, like yeah. Act, like talking about each other like they're somebody's baby mama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they really like. That's the that, that's the gimmick. Oh, I still follow Takashi's it. baby mama though. You called it like you know we argue about it and all that bullshit, but you know whatever. He's like that. Yeah, I mean that's that's just how the I guess beefing happens now is on the internet. Like what happened? Like like what happened at what happened to uh, meeting up at, at the fucking Source Awards and like <laughs> get him, you know, fight and shit. Yeah, you know? that's real. You get someone backstage just slipping. You know what I'm saying? Like mm, that's real. Yeah, what the fuck yeah. did happen to that? <laughs> Um, the internet, you know, where people like to incriminate themselves a lot. The internet. I just want to say, hey, look at me, look <laughs> right. at what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm smoking weed. <laughs> That's it's how it fun. Is. Internet. You see on the internet, the, the uh, I have it written down in my topic says Kendrick Lamar, nigger lady. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? Oh yeah! I oh yeah! That. No, but lady who was like, that. "Fuck what you said? Where you from, my, my nigga?" This lady right here. And like, I like how like everyone was booing her. <laughs> Every the whole concert like turned Boo. down. Everyone was like, "Hey man, I'm not having a good time anymore." Everybody was like. Mm, and mind you, this woman bulls that. And then mind you, the whole crowd was pretty much throw. white as well. Say what? I, I, I said like, and at the same time, the whole crowd was white as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they even booed. <laughs> and they had them saying, oh, they were all boozers. They yeah. were like screaming out like, you stupid bitch! Yeah. You stupid bitch! <laughs> <little fat." laughs> I was like, how dare you? Uh, imagine that. Imagine somebody just like, five feet from like, just like, you look over and she's just like, what the, <gasps> you stupid bitch! Like, you know nah, like, like, like my whole thing. This is turned up now. We're like, I like how she was on stage. Region. I like how she was on stage. Just like, what? Am I not cool enough? Or she was like, <laughs> like, no, <laughs> no, fuck out. Oh, <laughs> like what? People became like people. Like I've seen uh, white people do it and artists not be as mad. Yeah. But like the whole cr- and the whole crowd not even care too. But like for some reason the whole everybody cared. Everybody was just like, no. No, lady, not you. <laughs> you, you can't, can't say, say it. You <laughs> don't. You t- let it that's come out of you. No oh, fucking that's wrong. their Ricky. word. <laughs> like, no they, people talk about popcorn. They were finding. They threw their chairs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I heard Kendrick did a uh, oh, bitch don't kill baby. my vibe right afterwards. Oh, and that's stupid. My vibe. But then at the same time, it's like, <clears throat> I mean, you you brung her up to seeing yeah. Bad City. Yeah, I mean, I'm the, glad we're having this conversation because you did bring her up. No, you no. did put your what do you all in fucking the song? expect? You put your inwards Son on the song, bitch. Kendrick. Yeah, I like to listen to Kendrick bitch. though. It, it, like you know when I'm like <laughs> riding, bitch. hanging out. You know, I'm just chilling. I love to just listen to Kendrick. Like I got incense in my house, yeah, so yeah, yeah. just Before a cool you guy. Got her on stage, she was already saying. That's you know what I'm saying? damn it. You so, said the vlog was saying. So that, that's what she stage. thinking. Get last. in the mic. He's staying relevant. You want to talk to Mike? Yo, bro. Before he brought her on stage, she was already saying it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he brought her on stage. To prove a point to create some controversy. <laughs> exactly. Damn, man. That's, that's what she's thinking. What? That's unfortunate. Because you didn't need that. I think about that. That's what I say when I'm at In home. In this moment, I just yeah. lost a little respect for him. Just a little I don't bit. bleep out when Damn, I'm at yeah, home. That's, just, that's crazy. I never even thought about it like that. Kendrick, right. you might have some, but you just lost one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, um, guess what? Guess what people are? Yeah, well, they. <laughs> hey, I wish like, we don't have video this week. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but we like, don't have video, but 
Jericho's black and he's emotionally now hit from that last <laughs> subject. If you could see but, it, I would have showed you. But so. pretty much like what I was gonna say, I, I wasn't gonna say, oh, it's Kendrick's fault because because one has has um has fucking nigga in it. But at the same time, it's like you would expect someone to like you know you're on stage singing yeah. you know one of your favorite songs. And she so like, too. Uh, it you was know, innocent. She was, so yeah, it was innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't know. She she didn't know. Oh, so you're more you're more upset with um with Kendrick, Kendrick for for letting her for letting for bringing the lady up he and knowing that, that the song happen. was gonna play. Right. Then you are mad at him, but you're not mad at him for putting the N word in his song in the first no. place and <laughs> degrading the black man and then having the black no. man singing that but also the white woman is in her car every day singing the in traffic yeah he's just uh, in front of so a white that, baby you know, I, think he's, I think what he's doing is looking further than what we're seeing right now I think he's he thinks he's taking a step in the right direction Wait. by bringing it up you I know, say nigga a starting lot starting the conversation so I'm doing that too you yeah, know, which is cool. I also say yeah, you that's know. a great plan. If hey. that's how he wants to change the world and leave his him his mark, so be it. Whatever, it's cool. That's real. In that moment, I just gained some more respect for him. <laughs> 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 I just regained my respect. Just, my respect you, waffle so like, house. So like, so like that little bit of respect you lost, like you just it's right back. Just right right, back. Got you back in the game. He's like saying, hey Kendrick. ladies, he's still a Kendrick fan. fan. He's still a Kendrick fan, ladies. Yeah. Uh, Offset, you know, because I just want to like jump all the. Way. I just I don't want to. I just want to take a left hard left turn and talk about Offset now, <laughs> because he's been a, in a car accident. So I want to say like, was that kind of like a, a bad joke? Or no, that was just like a. I, I like look on the list and I'm like, what's the most thing that's the least like this thing that we're talking about right now? And I'm like, let's talk about that. Oh man, but <laughs> Offset get into a, a car accident? Like, yeah, I mean. It happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sucked. Yeah. I guess it was kind of a good segue so we can get all of our sad feelings out of the way, for, oh, you know, man. for right now. Hmm. Well, Offset got into a car crash. Oh, well, you know, he's he's walking now and talking to us. Yeah. He's walking like he's he was driving like the like fastest walking. car ever. Do you know that? Uh, he was driving. What? That's cool. Not the fastest car ever. Come on. He was just no. driving an extremely no, fast was, car. I think he was driving his. Bro, I'm going. It was yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, no, but it was a super yeah, fast yeah. one. Yeah, it was. It was a super was, Hellcat or some cool yeah. shit. Yeah. It was like some type of engine as big as, you know, it was like a, four Corvettes. It was a... Four Corvettes in that motherfucker. A Challenger Hell... A Challenger Hellcat? Shit. <laughs> yeah. Like a Corvette, nigga. It's I was in a Hellcat. Yeah. That Fuck. shit, bro. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's fast. It was better yeah, than a Hellcat. Yeah, because he take it, it through a, a tunnel, tunnel. And, it, and it literally purrs and shakes loud as fuck. <laughs> It's so fucking lit. Can you make that sound again crazy. one more time? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's fucking lit, bro. Oh, down like a tunnel? Oh, it's yeah. lit. Take that bitch down 2nd Street Tunnel. Yeah. That shit be super lit. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it's lit. It's so <laughs> dope. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was fucking accurate. I should... If they're doing a, a remake of Police Academy, I am... Open, bro. I'm open for business. <laughs> I mean, they're doing fucking remakes all the fucking time because that's what, that's what's it. safety. Like, like I heard like they're gonna bring back Ed and Eddie. Oh yeah, Personally, that would be fucking trash. Oh um, man. Well, That'd just the trash. way that it's drawn, but the writing no. may be better. No. Look at Teen better. Titans. The writing is better now. No. Teen Titans is trash. When they brought back Chicago, <laughs> bro, <laughs> trash. Right now <laughs> it's <laughs> trash. Right now. You're tripping, bro. Teen Titans go. Yeah, you're yeah. tripping, bro. You haven't watched it enough. Yeah, okay. You haven't. You haven't given it a chance. It's better than the writing is better than it was in the other one. It's just the art is shittier. That's it. And that's why I was turned off to it at first, but then I gave it a chance. I was like, damn, this is hilarious. Mm. Well, I mean, like the last show I watched on Cartoon Network was the regular show, and then I just stopped giving a fuck about Cartoon Network. Teen Titans Go is pretty funny. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. What's, we have audio issues or what? Nah, you already know what it is. It's like your mic's making a fuzziness. Oh, uh, sure. I mean, the mic that you're using, you know. Uh -huh. But it's okay. I'll, I'll uh, try to fix it in post. 
fix it in post. That's you know, that's what we say in film a lot. Yeah, we'll just fix it in it. post. Yeah, we'll just try to fix <laughs> it in post. Oh, uh, um, let's talk about. Let's talk about. Okay, I wanted to skillfully weave this in between. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some subjects. Yeah, but uh. Nah, I'm not even going to talk about that. So you just, so you just made that build up. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. Like, cliffhanger. Yeah. The ultimate. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> here and shit. Got people all excited. Thought we were gonna have a a powerful conversation. I thought we were gonna be yelling at each other and shit, and then it's just like, <laughs> no, oh. you can't tell me. I'm telling you. Oh, I mean, man. sometimes I was... it gets intense in here. Oh, you know for real. Well, yeah. That's Especially right. between these two right here. It's I was basically going to say, yeah, yeah, we got some oh. voicemails. You got some voicemails? Yeah. We yeah. got some voicemails. Mm. Got some voices. And people who appreciate the conversation. We got yeah. some voicemails. Nah, they were left. I mean, yeah, they definitely appreciate our conversations, but cool. they left them about a week ago. About a week ago. Roll up on them. Get this please out. Yo, please free smurda, yo. <laughs> free smurda. <laughs> Bobby, William, <laughs> <laughs> Castaway, William. Was, was, oh no, that'd be Billy. That'd be Billy. Was, uh, Robert is Bobby. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna play it the hood. I think oh. I'm just gonna play it the hood way. Oh you know shit! Let's just, see how this on, works. on the mic. Yeah. I think Yo, I think. so we have a hotline. Uh, link in the bio. Or... Yeah, call the hotline. And actually, I could just read the transcript. Actually, hmm. that makes sometimes that more sense. Oh, that'll probably work. Let's just read the transcript. What's the hotline number? Let's get that hotline number. It ain't always clear. I mean, you know, skim over it first. Oh, yeah. Sometimes this shit is like choppy. I killed a new thing. Word. Oh. I know you hurt All right, that hotline number. I killed a new thing. Right after this He's man gets to call me on the cell phone. They know we need my love. Call me on oh, that smooth so ass number for you. All right. It's 951. Need my love. 878 <laughs> Nine six three three. Hey, cut that, cut that, cut that. Oh fuck, my fault, bro. Fucking song's over. All right, <laughs> <laughs> so call us up. I'm gonna let you hear this animal God. transcript. Goddamn, goddamn, turn into the fucking love hour and Savage. shit. Y'all ready? <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Check this shit out. If y'all motherfuckers don't get no batteries in your fire smoke detector, whatever the fuck it's called, I'm gonna get real upset. I'm get real upset. Y'all are in the middle of some really good hot topic discussion, and then I'm gonna kill y'all. <laughs> How long have you been That's since? Your neighbor? <laughs> Wait. How long have you been since we recorded? No, it's not my neighbor. I don't uh, think. I don't know who that is. God damn. Over there. What do you mean? She was no, upset. No, no. I actually just put oh, detector in the in the battery in the hallway right here. Tell you the so. truth, I oh. I never noticed the goddamn smoke alarm going off. Well, it happens. Uh, so if you viewers didn't, didn't hear it, she said, "If y'all motherfuckers don't get no batteries in your fire smoke detector or whatever the fuck it's called, I'll get real upset and get real upset. <laughs> y'all are in the middle of a really good hot topic discussions in this." I'm going to kill you. That was what the transcript says. I nice. told you this shit was fucked yeah, up. Yeah, the transcript says that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you. Yeah, hey, so see, we have a hotline, possessed. you guys. Nah, she sounds <laughs> pissed the fuck off. Like she I, wants to I, like. Shout out kill to us. all those she got damn listening and, and and being mad because she can't hear. But um, then you say we had um, pss, pss, is there just one or we got more? We have two. Okay. Let me see if I can pull up the uh, audio for this one. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got real quick. Let's pull that up. What that shit do? Uh, 
like I said, call in, like let us let us know what you guys want want to hear, and I guess, well, I, what that was like an improvement of what we can do. Like I want to hear like what you guys want to hear. If you guys have any topics for us, or you know, let us know. If you want to tell us about your week? <laughs> um. Tell me about that shit. Um, no, fuck your kidding. week. I do want to hear your week. That's actually the only uh, comment we got on our fuck YouTube. Your week. No, that's the only comment we got yeah. on our YouTube last, yesterday or last week was, like, I would love to hear about you guys' week. <laughs> so, I guess we got to uh, tell them. How was your week, Daniel? Now that we're 75% in. Right, it was done, shit. No, um, we're not almost done. We're only halfway oh, done. Oh, I, I'm almost done because I, I got to go. So. Oh, well. Yeah. Brian's almost done. So, yeah. he's out of here. I'm going three hours. Mm, shit. Uh, what's up? Um, it will. You know. Um, I. I don't know. You know. The day just been passing. Um, I can't re- really recall. But th- like this week or last week, or cause it's been a few weeks, or at least a couple weeks. A lot of shit been going on. You know. what I mean, it's been pretty. Um, yeah, really good. Yeah, good, bad, like. Yeah, with the, oh man, all, good, bad, all them, you know, all the roller coaster malpractice. Damn, um, nigga, this is boring practice. as fuck. Wait, wait, what happened? Wait, wait, that's not boring. What happened? The malpractice. What the fuck's a malpractice? What is that? It's the name of the album, Red Man. Oh, this nigga right oh, here. Oh, I'm talking. Like, I'm thinking like, oh, like, like, like when I hear malpractice, like I thought you went to like the doctor and like they did something fucked up to you, <laughs> and now you <laughs> fucked up even more. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. So Red Man put out an album? No, it's an old no, album. It's oh. old. All right. Check this out. I got the other insane. recording. All right, here's our other. You ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to hear this? Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all suck. I'll read the I'll read the transcript on that. One. Oh yeah, what does that say? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> okay, there you go. Wait, does it actually oh, have like the, the person's name? Hey, oh, no, it does. I, I just wouldn't give out anybody's personal information, you know. Like, uh, it's a uh, it's a viewer, so I just leave it to uh, the facts. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh! I definitely know who said that. Definitely know who said y'all suck. Yeah, definitely know who said that. Uh, but you know, we're not gonna put that person out on blast and shit, so. Man, okay, no, I so just look, appreciate the I don't callers. know, I don't know who um, the callers. I mean, who it, who who it is, but I have a guess. Can I guess? Yeah, sure. I mean, no, you can't guess people's personal information, man. <laughs> like, you just can't guess people's uh, shit out here. You well, I did me. ask. So yeah, you can't just be like. Uh, I guess it was Timothy Flanders of Seventeen <laughs> Lane <laughs> Drive. <laughs> like, oh, Timothy <laughs> Lane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Timothy Flanders. I gave out your shit. It'll <laughs> be fucked up if we have a listener named Timothy Flanders. That would definitely fuck yeah. us over. <laughs> Timothy, right there. God damn it. Damn it. He just called in. Oh, shit. <laughs> damn. Damn. Hold up, motherfucker. Damn. And, like, we're not even live either. Put some respect, on my, put respect on my motherfucking name. Put some respect on my motherfucking name. Timothy fucking Flanders. Timothy fucking Flanders, nigga. Oh, man. T Flanders. <laughs> so what's up with man? What's up with your boy, man? Remember I said about last week about Ski Mask? Yeah. And how bro. he's fucked. Did you ever listen to those Timbalet that song? No. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, man. Uh, he's got some really good songs that aren't on that album. Man, what? Uh, I'm and surprised his fucking mixtape only sold like twelve. It only sold twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. T Grizzly yeah. sold thirty thousand. Damn. So that's like three times that. And that's just T. Grizzly, but he had some slappers on there, honestly. So I don't. But then know. at the same time, didn't like most of his songs already leaked on the. Yeah, internet that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Is like only songs. It's like those are only the the bad, like not the bad songs, but like you know the like, the ones you would expect, and like you know not the like special songs, like all the special songs. Chip, snip, 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 but then I also right. heard that like Ski Mask was also going through like like management problems at yeah, the same time. Yeah, he got so be. Like, He's got to be going through some hot shit right now because he's trying to play me. I'm a real, I know you, buddy. I'm a real fan. I know yeah, you can like, do more than just be like, yeah. yo, 
Like, yeah, you can do that really cool, even, and really well. But he's got some weird shit. In even him. on our like, even our our first podcast, we talked about how Schemas was. was yeah, good, he's the best. Know, like, uh, he's just, but uh, ain't nobody gonna fuck with that, man. I mean, I don't like I said. Once you hurt, it's like it. It's like it. It's like you ever eat like pretty much the low quality version of anything and then you accidentally eat a really good quality version yeah, of it and then, and then you're like back. fuck uh, yeah that's how the songs are when you hear the fucking the good ones you're like fuck it's only one that even only song that even stands with those songs is still dapper dan yeah. but the other ones sound like childish and like weird and like they don't they don't sound like they can go big enough you know what i'm saying they don't sound like they're going outwards except for like uh like baby wipe you know what i'm saying like baby wipe is like how you feeling bro that's a good that's one that goes like outwards but the rest of them are just kind of like you know like rap 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 rapping yeah rap 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 and you're just like oh i see you though but you're you're just doing you're just playing you're not i love the energy and he said that before he said that like a long time like a while ago he was like uh if you get my shoe right now it's probably trash. I hate my shit right now. Uh, my shit's gonna be fire like after my album. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what kind of shit is that? It's it's like, fire shit now, bro. Yeah, well. But he like you said, man. I hope that. Label. I, yeah, I hope it is. He's ma- trying to management. be a rebel. Cause he's gonna make the sales. No, oh, he didn't make and the sales. This one. No, no sales. That's no. what I'm saying. No, no sales. Twelve thousand. Backfire. But then it was the first. Week, <laughs> yeah, I did. No, he put out the wax shit. Like I think he just didn't want his label to like, or whoever is fucking like fucking him over to like profit off his his fire oh, songs. Fuck. Or I he might. Fe- music industry right now. Man. Or he fell out with Timbaland. Like I said, that was my theory last week. Like something could have happened with him and Timbaland. Mm. I hate the music industry right now. How it's set up. Man. Yeah. I think Sam don't seem to be doing good business. But uh, all the artists don't yeah. never come out. But Bro, I know people who are signed right now. He said who? And their label decide where Timberland. in the city they can yeah. and cannot it's not go. His though. Who artists. they can and just, cannot date. What they him. can and cannot wear. What they can and cannot say. Like what? And they gotta know this shit all mm-hmm. all day. They can't eat certain places. When they're signed <laughs> to label, it's weird. It's like slavery. It really is. Well, I understand. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I understand that too. Cause depending on your contract, depending on how stupid you are, if you find if you sign the first contract, you're an idiot. But then, I mean, I, I I've said this also before too. It's like I think record labels been like that ever since the first one. Yeah, ever since they had yeah. shit to control, they were just figuring out how to control it. They weren't like writing it into the contract to get your merch deal, but they it's were getting it anyway now. too. Yeah. yeah, it's a business now. It's, it's, it's always been a business. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everything's a bit no, like anything that you're... But it's a logistically founded business now. It's not just by the feel of something. It's by the numbers of it now. It's, uh, I mean, it's, I swear it has been since at least the 60s. Damn, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably even, even before then. Like... You know, I mean, you know, it's downer schmowner. That and then, all, and then, like when you go into, like when you say, like, oh, they can only eat certain places or wear certain places. At the same time, like, let's say if like I own a record label and like my homie owns Off White, then of course I only want my artist Off White because that's the homie's brand. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he's so he's gonna promote Off White while while you know promoting my art at the same time. Right. So, then, oh, if my if my homie one of the might pick that up, I hope so. Probably, like if my homie owns fucking a nice fucking restaurant, of course, of course, I want I want my artist to be at that nice restaurant and not at fucking eating or seeing getting eat at McDonald's and shit like that, you know. All right. So, but then at the same time, it is fucked up telling people where they can and cannot go at the same time. So I do get that. Who they can and cannot date. <laughs> well, I feel that's only if you're like a big, big artist. No, you know what I'm saying? it's not. I mean, I guess everybody wants everybody to be a big, to be big, a big artist. Big artist. Yeah, because yeah. they have a bunch on the back burner just in case a big artist fucks up and slips too much. Like, do some unforgivable shit. NBA. They'll have their other person. All right, you go out. You be better than Bruno Mars because he fucked up. I mean, NBA. I know a nigga uh, like that. Who's young boy can't Bruno even Mars go on right tour. Huh? 
I said a kid, there's kids who can't even go on tour because <laughs> I guess because they beat up their girlfriends. Well, is he is he wow. on like house arrest or something? Like that? Yeah, but I mean, that's he's boring. on. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's why he can't go on tour. I guess. That and he's what he's. I can. Is he still that. 17 or 18? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess he's. Sad. I don't know. That's a good let's question. Go, let's Google that real quick because uh, I like to get facts out at least if I'm gonna. Yeah. Drop that some shit. <clears throat> right, let's see. Drop that shit. <clears throat> Facts, B. Kid is. We got no motherfucker peeing around here. Born in '99. What the fuck? How old is that? Didn't say twelve. Nigga, twelve. Oh, you were born in '99. That's a great. No, nah, that's um eighteen, nineteen, twenty. No, nineteen. <laughs> this thing. Well, yeah, when he, is his yeah. birthday? No, you got it. You got right nineteen. Well, yeah, he's about 19. Yeah, you gotta write one of those numbers. What the yeah, fuck? 19, he spit out like but, 20, when, but when is his birthday, 18, though? 19, 18, 19. Yeah, so he's between 18 and 19. Uh, he's one of those. It's a grown ass nigga. Yeah. He got. He grown. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, he's not going on tour. No time soon. No time soon. <laughs> uh, Pope, them people got him. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, he can't go on tour, then he can't make money. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. and that's what I mean. Like they're getting motherfuckers out of the box, based like if you do bad shit. I think he he's like on house arrest over a gun charge or something. He's not on house arrest over you know his no. girlfriend. Yeah. So it's like if you just do dumb shit, you're just fucked. Like you know, yeah. like it just they're like making it like that now. I'm hey man, you want to hear a hot take? Sure. Pretty sure Shakespeare was diddling little ki- people, somebody underage. You know, he was he was doing some, he was doing his something his dirt. I heard about it. Google it. Yeah. You heard about it. You heard about it. So <laughs> you was true. in the theater, motherfucker. <laughs> Shakespeare was doing some dirt. Let's just right. play that. Some people were doing dirt, man. A lot of people do dirt. But uh, that's the hot take. Hey guys, people were doing dirt. Nice meeting you, bro. I'm gotta get the fuck out of here. All right, buddy. Oh, uh. You, be you safe, guys man. still listen to these guys talk? Nice meeting you, Jericho. Nice to meet you, too. Love Peace and love, love, man. Hold on, hold on, let me. Smooth transition. Oh, uh, no, 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 we're good. Yeah, you just hey, uh, you just walk right on out. No, oh, walk right out. Uh, fucking uh, we're gonna get into ASAP Rocky testing. Hey. Remember you were canning about that earlier, uh, Jericho. What? You were saying something about ASAP earlier that you were interested in? Oh, I was saying that maybe he's the next Kanye. Hot so you were take. just giving out random takes? Why do you, Why would you say that? Take. Well, because of his influence. His musical and fashion influence. Talking to the mic there. Because of his influence. Because of his music and fashion influence that he has on the industry. And um, because he has a sort of swagger that can start trends immediately and eventually cause a movement. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kind of like Kanye. Hmm. Well. Peace. Peace. Well, man. Um, um, I think? disagree because Kanye made Yeezys. <laughs> like Yeezy ones. Right. You know? Like the the Nike ones, and even before that, <laughs> you know, he, he yeah, sold yeah. white T-shirts for five hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, don't, I mean, you know, what I'm saying five hundred pair. Yeah, as I'm saying, I'm not a. I think ASAP is a really stylish guy who's good at doing stuff. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the album. Um, but <laughs> how could he be Kanye if he, he didn't make the Yeezys? Kanye would already like if we're if we're comparing Jordan to LeBron or something or whoever in this case it's like he already went he already didn't make it to the championships f- five years in a row you know what I'm saying I hate to say it you get what I'm saying and Kanye's always made it to the championships no you know what I'm saying? like yeah. he's kind of already got his like six rings you know what I'm saying he's got six albums where he's like yeah. Yeah. fire albums platinum you know killed it you know what I'm saying you can't yeah. be like this kid ain't got He's got like well, one and a half. Think ring. about He's longevity, like though. He's got one ring. You know I what think I'm I think ASAP Rocky will last long enough to where he actually can surpass Kanye. Okay. 
Um, Longevity wise, I think ASAP Rocky will last long, but in a Snoop Dogg way. I think he's gonna go K-pop. K-pop. What do you mean? Like, I think he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna go that route. Music? K-pop is probably like the second most popular genre of music in the planet on the planet. So you think ASAP Rocky's just gonna? Uh, he's gonna start fusing his music with trap and K-pop. Well, I'm looking out for that. Ooh. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Right there. I would if I was him. That'd be a great business decision. If he's listening, hey. Take that idea. Go for it. It's all yours. So do you ever watch movies? No, it's just me and you. Do you ever like to watch movies? I mean, pause. I love it's to. It's also Daniel here, too, just so you know. We're <laughs> yeah. chilling. I mean, that doesn't even sound any... any <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. But uh, <laughs> the point Yeah, is, I love to watch movies, bro. What's the last movie you saw? The last movie I saw. Fuck. Oh, I rewatched The Matrix. Okay, which one? The first one. Hmm... Hmm. And when I, f- I realized when I first watched that movie, I was, I didn't understand it. You know, I was a kid. And now that I'm older, it totally just reinforced so many, so many things that I already knew was true. Ah. You know, and plus it was fucking entertaining to see just like when slow motion just like began in film. Mm-hmm. Nice slow cool. motion but it really became mainstream for everyone to do action in slow motion with the new no, everyone called it the matrix mm-hmm. hey bro do the matrix that's real you remember that yeah, even yeah. in their da- their hip hop dances yeah mm-hmm. they're matrixing uh, revolutionary right. it's kind of it yeah, I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to this Deadpool movie for some reason. I yeah, like to watch Deadpool. I still haven't um, seen. Yeah, me neither. But I want to check that shit out. Matter of fact, I didn't even I watch Infinity War. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen. Did you watch that? No, I, I knew nobody watched it. I watched it. You did? I, I damn sure did. I damn sure did. Damn, <laughs> it must be good. The way you um, said that. No, nah, don't tell me anything, please. Oh yeah, he All already right. he already uh spoiled Spoiler it. Spoiler like, alert. Last week. Um, see what happened was no, I don't. Please don't. Because <laughs> no, I'm gonna I, go see it. I can't do that. I hate I hate people that do that. Thank you. But mm. um, it's pretty good though. Little pump should open up for J Cole and Young Thug. I just remembered that. I just like thought about it. I think the. Damn, Brian left, but I wanted to talk to him about on some shit closed. I guess they're probably just going to open up another one of those stores somewhere else. I don't think they're gone forever. Um, they used to be on the road, you know. Niggas used to be on downtown skid. Um. Yeah, man, I'm out of here. I'm trying to think about what to talk about. I don't want to fucking talk about Lil Tay. You've ever seen Lil Tay? No, nah, I'm I'm mad because I ain't popping no more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's mad as fuck. She ain't popping no more. It's over. Like You saw all them videos came out about uh, her trainers and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. like teaching her how to do it. Mama shit. got fired. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Um, All that shit, baby. Yeah, guys. I mean, my boy Brian had to leave quick, fast, early. And uh, Ben Grimm couldn't be here, but I'm here, you know. Jericho's here this week. I'm here. Young Daniel normally, but uh, I think it's time to get out of here. Uh, anything you want to talk about? Like, you know, you know, we got, I got five on it. Throw in five. Anything you want to throw minutes? out there, Jericho? Give a, give a five-minute rant about some shit. Okay. I've decided to greet my close friends and family with the phrase balance. You said balance? Balance. Balance. Damn, this is a because quick ass five. Oh, wait, you only got 20 seconds. Because <laughs> if we acknowledge that we, we serve different um, aspects of the common goal, then we can get on the same page and coexist in balance. Through the flavor of life, which is you and me. Not it's not difference, it's flavor. And uh mayonnaise is bad on everything. 
Right. And uh, you can make some mayonnaise, and it'll be fucking great. Oh, man. If you fucking taught me how to make mayonnaise, it'd only be for a suicide drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Um, I think it's time to get out of here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you so much for coming, Jericho. No problem, bro. Come back anytime that a mic's open, you know. But you're, you're always welcome to come cool. by. Uh, we got Daniel here. And I'm Jamal Label Harrison, and we're fucking leaving. Already. Bye. Bye. Dudes.